let's now start exporting our assets and that's why i like this style guide because we created everything we need right here and we can simply select all of it but click on the design tab first so select all of them hit ctrl e and for the file use svg styling presentation attributes or internal css you can check with your developer what they want but they usually use presentation attributes so everything as as it was presented you can check right here if you want to make your size optimized but before it, it, because it's svg it's already optimized to a point you can hit change right here and i want to select assets folder select folder hit export and you're done and if I jump back into my folder, jump into assets, you can see icons right here. And it's going to select all of these icons which are inside this folder and create them as one. And if you don't want that, you can hit delete and you can ungroup this. And then with them selected like so, you can hit Ctrl E, SVG and hit export once again. And if I jump back into our folder now, you can see all of them are separate assets like so. So you can have it uh, either way. They can copy the code directly from the SVG file if they want to. But if you want, you can do it like this as well. So just uh, speak with them and learn what's more easier for them to use. So is it one file or is it separate files? Now, because you extracted all of them and exported them into this separate folder, because we don't have any other additional icons that we didn't export, you can simply uh, use this asset folder and don't export any other icons from anywhere in your design. So basically you have finished with your icons just by creating this style guide. And I think it's a fantastic addition and just improves your speed massively while you are working. Next up, let's use home screen. So you can select this image, for example, hit Control command E, choose JPEG from here, locate the home folder so here it is right here select the folder hit export and what we want is open this up and you can select them like so so lamp one lamp two lamp three hit Control e and what we want is pngs because these were pngs originally hit export and you can close all of these folders up if you want you just want to export one background so hit Control e and you can export this as a JPEG. So hit export and it's going to replace it because this first one is our image. So let's change that. This is going to be our hero image like so. Sorry, I made a typo like this. Control E, JPEG export and I can jump into our folder, locate the home, here it is and simply delete this one because we need this image like so. So click right here, hit Ctrl E, JPEG export, and now it's going to export this because we need this gray background included as well. Next up, room combinations. So you have living room, bedroom, kitchen, select all three, and you don't need to uh, select the image because we already uh, selected it. So we have image, image, and image. Now you can select like this and paste it in, like this, paste it in, like this and paste it in because uh, it replaced the name of the image once it was masked with this image. So simply select them, hit Ctrl E, JPEG, export. And finally, let's select this last one, which is the video, Ctrl E, hit export. And there you are. So. As you can see, it's really easy to export all of these images. Now, what we have right here are these sofas, so you can always open all of them. So sofa one, sofa two, and you can also select one of these background images. Sofa three, and simply hold your controller command key, select all of them like so, hit control E, and then change right here, and this is called category screen. So locate it right here, select folder, hit X and not JPEG but PNG because all of them were PNG 
hit export it's going to export all of those images and as you can see it's quite easy to move between these screens so you can select both of these circles or just one because they are exactly the same you can choose materials and choose frame circle hit ctrl e and you can export them as a png for example but it's in the search filter screen so just make sure to export everything correctly so search filters select folder export and you can export it that way now as for the buttons you can export it in two ways so you can export the button as it is now so Control e and you can export it as a png like so or you can export the button without any text on it so it's really up to you and up to the developer to decide uh, how they want to uh, include all of this next up we have room combination so hit Control e to export this image and we can use jpeg for it so room combination screen located right here room combination select and export what we need right here is this sofa so Control e we can use png export what we also need are these colors so select all three colors Control e png is fine you can export this card bg so Control e export it's png and you can also export this lamp if you want to so locate it right here Control e png export and there you go you have finished because we copied and used these colors in both cases so let's move on to selected item screen and what we want right here is to export both uh, background as well as image so we can export them both as PNG, Control E, and you can change this to be selected item like this. Select folder, PNG, export. What we also want are these colors. So select your colors like this, Control E, as PNG, that's fine. And finally, what we want are these two images. So this image as well as this image so this is going to be image number one image number two select both of them Control e png export and we don't need them inside of the other folder you can simply copy everything uh, down and paste it out but i want to make it a uh, nevertheless so let's use hero image so main chair hero image Control e as png just change the folder because this is selected item adjusted here it is select the folder export and what we want are these colors so open up the color folder and now you can see the advantages of these folders and uh, organizing everything properly because you can see how this works uh, well and as you can see we are just eight minutes in and how much we finished so far so you can really work with it uh, a lot more easily so control e for the button and finally because we did it before image one and image two so that they can access it easily inside this folder as well and let's quickly go ahead and finish up with everything else so right here you can select one background so control e and change the location so this is the order details like so click select folder export and you can locate these images so open up your folders so main chair sofa one lamp one control e png export we need to export this button as well control e like so and finally we need to export this frame so how can we do that you can locate the frame so here it is right here and you can export it and simply hit ctrl e as png export and they will place it like we did now but in the code next to each other and they have these icons in the assets uh, panel text we don't export you can also export the text if you want to but i found it's not necessary because it's a waste of time and they will use the text in the code anyway later for this screen let's jump inside Control e png change payment located where it is right here select the folder and export so 
I made a slight mistake. Let's locate the payment and export the entire screen, which you can do if you want to. And I'm going to show you at the end how you can do that too. But for now, we want to select the credit card. We want to select a PayPal and we want to select the button control E PNG payment export. And let's quickly just double check if it is like it should be. So if I open up this credit card, it's going to open up uh, in my uh, image viewer right here. And if I drag it to this screen, you can see it saved it out as a PNG with uh, a transparent background and a shadow. Let's move on to store locations, control E, change, delivery files, store locations, select the folder, hit export, it's going to export the entire screen. So store locations, let's delete that real quick. And what we want from here is the map, so control E, PNG export. And finally, what we want is this button as it is. So located right here. So directions like so control E as PNG because they might want to use it as well, as well as this card BG. So control E export and this top uh, background. So control E PNG export. And there you go. We have created everything except for this menu screen and inside of it. So you can just locate the BG background, control E, change, find the menu folder right here. Here it is. Select the folder, hit export because we just want this background to be exported from here. And as I explained before, we have this X icon prepared already. So that's it for the exporting assets part of this course. And one final thing I want to show you is how you can simply select all of them. Hit control E once again, you can use PNG, but I'm going to use JPEG, change the folder, delivery files and simply deliver uh, them to here. Hit export because this way is going to be easier to your clients as well as to your developers to take a look at the screens as they are. And you can also jump inside each and every folder and extract this design into that particular folder. Now, if you have more than one size, so this one is for the iPhone 10 and 10s. But if you have, for example, for 10s Max or for any other device they include in the future, then you can create a folder. So let me quickly jump in and show you that. So inside of this store locations folder, for example, you can have these assets in different folders. So each folder can have subfolders. So store locations will have subfolders for iPhone 10 and 10s, then another folder for iPhone 10 S and 10 S max and so on and so forth. So you can have your organization done like that. So once again, they have the assets which contain all of the icons. They have 10 different folders for 10 different screens and they have the assets inside. And finally, they have JPEG screens right here. So if they double click on any of them, they can simply open them up and simply look at them as they are right here. So that's it for the exporting uh, assets part. And in the final video of this series, I want to show you how you can then package all of it and deliver it to client. So I'll see you there.